So I had been working on some pretty challenging puzzles recently and I wanted a break. I wanted to do a simple 8,000 pieces and so I picked up this Charlie Harper Coral Reef by Pomegranate and well it worked. It is a puzzle that a thousand pieces so not necessarily the easiest or the least in challenging that you find out there. Puzzles with 10 pieces are probably easier but still, but still. Uh, due to the general structure and the overall composition of the image it turned out to be not particularly challenging if nothing else as you can see here from the from the image on the cover clear sections clear colors no ambiguities to an extent now let me show you how the puzzle looks like once you solve it it's nice it is the usual quality production value wise that you can expect from pomegranate never disappoints very thick pieces very good fit very good grip as you can see from how much of the puzzle i can lift up without having to worry at all i wanted to actually remove a piece to show you how thick it is and it's hard to do so really good quality as for the image itself, again, it's beautiful. I like it, this very simplified, semi-abstract representation of the coral reef with this image here that for the longest time I had no idea how it was. Turns out it is this grumpy fish looking at you. I mean, that's how I interpret the image, especially looking at these semi-transparent images here that I assume are fins. This is the, the tail of the fish sticking out as the fish is doing like this possibly so semi abstract and some of these images still have no idea what they are but but they work the overall composition is very nice looking it's very pleasant solving it again wasn't particularly challenging i solved the edges first because that's what i do unless there are some really compelling reasons not to and i didn't find any in this case then I proceeded to solve the yellow section i should say the main part of the yellow section that has the advantage not just of being very yellow, so a very distinctive color, but also of having these lines here. You see, these are fairly thin lines that at the very least are going to tell you the orientation. And so that definitely helped a lot. However, once I was done with, I would say, the main section, some of the smaller sections around here turn out to be a little bit tricky where you have these intersections of black and yellow. Sometimes it was a little bit confusing, so I built the areas around and then finally I was able to fit some of the smaller details here. But it's fun because this puzzle, it's almost a collection, it's almost a collection of smaller puzzles. You have the larger puzzle, so to speak, which is the yellow section there, again, very distinctive, and uh, facilitated by the orientation cue given to you by the lines. And then you have this mini puzzle, and this mini puzzle, and this mini puzzle, which has some ambiguity with that one, but not really, because these lines are dark red, or, or brown, or maroon, different from those lines there that are blue, and this mini puzzle, and this mini puzzle, and this mini puzzle. So really, not particularly challenging, it was fun to be able to break down the potential chaos of a thousand piece puzzle into smaller puzzles, solve them one at a time. Still not trivial, because still a thousand pieces, there's still a couple of interesting challenges here and there. Putting together this uh, fish here, um, not super easy, just because it often happens with diagonal lines, uh, well, you had to build the ones around them to be able to anchor them. But generally speaking, Charlie Harper, the Coral Reef by Palm Granite, not too challenging. Uh, maybe you're a new puzzler, you're a pandemic puzzler, you're looking for something not particularly challenging. Maybe you're looking for your first 1,000 piece puzzles. This could be a good option because it's not super difficult, but it's still fun uh, to solve and definitely rewarding. And at the and you have a really nice image here. So very happy, very satisfied with this puzzle. I was looking at it for a nice diversion between tougher projects and this puzzle works perfectly in that capacity.